Hey guys, it's 420 Trade It. We don't blaze it, we just trade it. Now today, I'm gonna get into why Kron did not rally with the rest of the weed stocks. So in this article, it's basically saying like why Kronos was down. It's because Kronos was downgraded by BMO, which is a Canadian bank. And yeah, let's get into it. Shares of Canadian cannabis company Kronos Group Inc. fell in a rising market Monday after BMO Capital Markets became the latest house to downgrade the stock that has gained more than 100% in a year to date. Analyst Tammy Chen lowered her rating to underperform from market perform, the equivalent of a sell rating. The stock Kron Minus 0.57% is now trading at 80 time, 85 times her estimate EBITDA or earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. She wrote in a note to clients that compares with rivals Aurora Cannabis trading at 40 times estimated EBITDA and Tilray trading at 70 times estimated EBITDA. The analyst said Kronos lags behind other licensed producers in Canada in building out its production capacity. The move comes after GMP security downgraded Kronos to hold from buy in February. The Jefferies initiated coverage of an underperform rating. Cohen initiated coverage of the stock on March 5 with a market perform rating. The stock has an average hold rating among 11 analysts pulled by FactSet and an average price target of $20.30 below its current price of $21.15. Shares were down 4% in the afternoon trade. In other company news, okay, yeah, I think we don't need to get into that because we're not talking about Kronos. But here's my reason why I think Kronos will have a short bounce before sliding even more. So just a disclaimer, I bought I bought calls. I bought calls for Kron on the Canadian ticker. So let's get into this chart and I'll show you why I bought the calls. So we're trading at a price point of $28. And this is our candle right here. We close at 28. So RSI for the daily is pretty fair. It's roughly around 50. But on the hourly, it's close to the oversold territory. So my opinion is that we're going to probably see like a gap down open and then a bounce from there. That's my play. That's why I bought the calls on Kronos. And... Hopefully, we do see that bounce as I don't want to take a hit on my cause, but it's a small bet I'm willing to have because we are oversold, well, near that oversold territory on the RSI, the hourly RSI. On a five minute, we gain some strength in the end. We recover from the low of the day, which was 20, I would say. 2759. So from 27.59 is lower low of the day, we close at $28, which isn't too bad. We see the small balance. That's where the RSI in the five minute was kind of it increased. You know, like over here, as you can see, the five minute RSI was like 15s in his teens. So obviously, it's gonna see a bounce. So yeah, so yeah, that's my prediction and why I really believe it's gonna bounce. Cause judging from this RSI. See how it bounced from 15 to like 40. And look at that rally. It went from 27.59 all the way to 28.45. So I'm just playing the hourly bounce. You guys don't have to follow my decisions. Anyways, always do your due diligence. And yeah, just make sure you're not like going too crazy on the option calls. Like don't. Don't bet all your money into these calls. Like I only bet a short amount of money, like very, very small. Just hoping to see like a few gains. And yeah, on a weekly, we overextended, 
and their price target was I believe twenty one dollars and we're at twenty eight but I don't see us having like a huge slide down like I don't really believe that it's just a price target like not everyone goes by the price target like most of these cannabis companies are overvalued and they're giving even higher price targets which doesn't make any sense and most likely they get price targets because they're shorting the stock like say for example let's take it for example um yeah acb right like the investment company like the institutions they buy into the stock very low and then they give a higher price target so they can boost the stock and then they can sell at a profit because everyone is going to follow them saying oh they gave it a buy rating so let's just buy boosting up the stock price same thing goes with um, giving a sell rating on Cron, right? They're most likely shorting the stock or buying put options. So that's why they gave it a sell rating. So yeah, hopefully you guys don't get discouraged about price targets and anything. Like it's it's pretty dangerous to give a price target in a new industry, especially on weed stocks. Highly volatile. They can like they can become like undervalued to overvalue in like a matter of weeks or days, or overvalued to undervalued like they swing very heavily and it's very crazy and that's why I don't believe giving a price target is like fair at the moment like any news like any good news like that will like pop up with Kron will obviously like pop up this price target especially if it's really good news so this is why I'm playing on a bounce play and yeah Marcus also seen a rally so hopefully it picks up as Kronos was the laggard or I guess was very behind because of this price target. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any videos I post. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.